Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a review of the Kodak Playful uh, camera. So uh, I did an unboxing of this camera earlier, so uh, check that video out. Um, yeah, so let's go over the hardware of this device first. Um, this is the back. On the back here we have our lens here, which is the 1080p video and 5 megapixel stills and uh, digital image stabilization DIS um, I'm not really sure what to do with all these little colorful lines around and everything this big huge glass uh, thing here I'm not really sure about that but whatever um, right there's your microphone for when you're taking video uh, here's your Kodak logo on the left of the device, we have the power button with this little light above it, which indicates whether it's on or off. We underneath this cover here. Let me take this off. These covers are kind of hard to get off on this camera. We have our micro USB charging port. I don't know if you can see that. It says five volt in AV. Also, our reset little thing there is there too. Just push your pen in it and, and it resets the entire camera. Um, on the top here, we have um, this the uh, micro, well, not micro USB, sorry, the USB for connecting it to the computer. So you just slide this this way, and then this uh, pops out like this, like that, and you plug it into the computer. It's actually really uh, intuitive. I like it. On the other side of the vi the device, we have our another cover here, which has stupid thing. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. That's where our micro SD card goes. Um, that is. I don't know what that is for. It looks like a micro USB port, but I thought it was on the other side. Huh. Yeah, so that's on that that's on that side. On the bottom we have the place where the uh lanyard attaches. Um this little sensor and this and the speaker. And this little hole right here, which I'm not too sure what that is. On the front here we have our uh, I think it's a 1 or 1 1.5 inch LCD screen uh, Kodak logo or Kodak thing there. Um, these are actually, they're not tactile buttons. Well, they look like they're, uh, they're like touch sensitive, but they're not. They're actually push kind of. Um, so right here we have our button which allows us to take the videos. You click it, and that's how you get to the picture taking slash video taking menu. This here, this little play button, is how you go through all your photos. Um, this is your settings button. This is your delete button. And this here in the middle is like your select button, your kind of navigation. And this is your share button. So you can like share it to Facebook or whatever. Right here it says playful. So the front of this device, this is kind of like a glossy finish. So this entire front is like all glossy and everything. As you can probably tell there, the reflection. But the rest of the vi the de the device, excuse me, is like kind of kind of like a soft touch plastic, I guess. And then it's got this uh little stainless steel bezel around it which looks really nice overall the camera looks really nice and when you hold it in your hand it does not feel cheap I mean this thing feels really sturdy okay so let's go ahead and turn it on so let's touch the power button here here we go I bet that's kinda hard to see hold on let me there's a box 
So, this does not have the um, SD card in it, but as you can see it says 5. So this internal memory on this thing, you could take 5 pictures on the internal memory, and then you can take you know as many as your SD card holds when you have it in there. But uh, this is just the camera mode. So you touch this middle button to take the picture. There we go. So then you hold this play button to see your pictures. Let's say I wanted to, to delete that. I hit the delete button. Delete. Okay. And now let's go to video mode. So we're going to tap this button again. And there we go. We have seven seconds of video on the internal. Um, yeah, and the settings menu here. You've got LCD brightness, your effects, video resolution. There's HD720p, which is what it's set on, which I'm going to set it to 1080p for this video. Microphone gain, sounds and LED, date and time, share settings. About. Let's click this. Camera firmware version 1.02. ArcSoft version 2.0.24. Point ten fifty. Software version is version two point zero point eleven point zero eleven seven. <laughs> okay, that's that. Um, and you've already basically seen the delete button. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put an SD card in this, so I can actually show you some video here. So let me turn this thing off. There we go. Let me go ahead and grab the SD card that it came with. Open this thing up. Open the uh, little slot here. I'll go ahead and pop this in here. So where does it go? I think it goes like that. Yeah. There we go. And I have already taken some pictures on this SD card. So if you're wondering. Okay. Oh, okay. So apparently, this card is almost full. Huh, I didn't think it was almost full. So, I'm actually going to go grab a different SD card. Let me take this one out of here. Excuse me guys, I'll be back in like a second. Okay guys, hold on. Let me go ahead and put this new SD card in here. Okay, now we should be set. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so let me just show you some video. Let me just take a video here. So I'm just taking a video here, and I'll show it to you guys. Okay, this may not show up as crisp and clear on the camera as it is in person, but so I'm just taking a video here. And I'll show it to you guys.
Yeah, sorry if that looked uh, really blurry, but uh, the camera that I'm taking this video with, which is the camera on my iPod, touch, fourth generation, uh, sucks. But if you see this in person, it looks uh, 1080p. It looks uh, really stunning. Um, I'll go ahead and take a couple of pictures for you. Let me get a good shot here of this box. Oh, it's on video. Whoopsies. Let's hit that again. There we go. Now it's on camera. There we go. These 5 megapixel stills are, are not the greatest, but they look okay. Um. Yeah. So this is a really nice camera. For the time I've had it, I've really liked it. I mean, I do wish it had a higher megapixel still camera rather than just 5 megapixels, but the uh, 1080p video recording is just awesome. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.